All right. Cowboys from heaven. Pantera. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah. Who we at? Where we at? What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and today we're checking out Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. But for the rest of the reaction, I'm going to say heaven, because, <laughs> you know, man, that's where I'm trying to get, man. I'm trying to get to heaven's gates, okay? If I go through those, so if for some reason, let's see if I can flip this real quick, you guys. If for some reason there's global domination and I'm forced to walk through the cemetery gates, I'm hoping I could leave the cowboys from hell behind and go to heaven. Ah, you guys see what I did there? No, no. Those are the only songs I know from Pantera. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all get it. Some of y'all get it, man. Okay. First time reaction. Never seen this video. Never heard this song. We got to talk about that. Pantera. Let's go. 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, you guys, uh, let's get the logo down and pull the video up. Uh, don't forget to support the original content on the channel. I'm a hip-hop artist, so I put out music, music videos, but I did start another channel, Pegasus vs. The World. Over there, it allows me to take on challenges, vlog style, and I do reactions to comedy, trending topics, and some travel. So if you want to help support me build that channel up, awesome. But all the music and the music reactions stay right here on this channel. If you want access to the reactions early, plus a huge back catalog of reactions that have not been released to the public and some will not release to the public, we have a membership for that, and uh, the link in the description for that as well. There's never an obligation. Just want to thank the people who support with likes, comments, subscribes, and then go ahead and huge shout out to our members, man. It goes a long way, especially with this crazy ass economy. So thank you guys. All right, let's get into this. Look at this screenshot, man. They are partying they ass off. Now we're gonna check this out. I have reacted to Pan Pantera. That's only time I've heard Pantera. And my favorite song is Walk. And the other day, someone played it in the gym. And I was like, I know this. This is Pantera. Respect. Anyways, um, so I've reacted to Domination, where they performed it in Moscow. That should be on the channel. Um, Cemetery Gates and uh, Walk. And if we had to rank those right now, I think I love Walk. And then I'd go Cemetery Gates, then Domination. That's just my style. That's what I like the most. But today, I'm checking out Cowboys from Heaven. I mean, hell. Okay, here we go. Pantera, you guys, make sure I'm watching this on their channel, you guys. So subscribe to their channel, support, stream their stuff. We got to promote the artists that I'm discovering. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm just discovering, but, yo, you guys got to do your thing to help support them because, hey, man, this needs to be a promotional vehicle at some capacity. All right, let's get it. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, let's go. I like this build up. They had some rowdy shows, it looks like. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, I'm turning this up. Thank you. 
motherfuckers. Oh, I'm gonna stop it. All right, they might have got me, man. Fudge. I don't know, man. I might like this more than walk. This might take my number one spot. I don't know yet. I liked how he said we're taking over your town just on some cowboy shit, bro. That's crazy. That his voice. I like how he's like singing and kind of because on a uh, uh, walk, there's a lot of Ray, spit. What am I doing? You talking to me? Ray, spit. It reminds me of some March stuff, but it just gets me in the mood to work out. But this, I like the combination of his singing in this more. Yikes. What the f- is Pantera doing to your boy, man? Damn. Oh, rest in peace, Dime Bag Daryl. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is I, I posted this and someone th- thought I was fronting, but I never, okay, I didn't know this when it happened, but I performed at a venue called the Al Rosa, I believe. I think it's in Ohio or some shit. I forget. But anyways, my OG, One Ton, he's been on the channel. He was showing me how to tour manage because I was tour. This was like one of my first or second tours. I actually tour managed and rapped on. It was with Potluck and I think Ari the Rugged Man and Whitney Payton. So anyways, we get to the Al Rosa and he's telling me this story of a fanatical fan shooting an artist on stage in this venue. And he's like, yeah, it's kind of creepy. You know, it's sad. It's, it's, and he was, and I didn't realize that was the story of Dimebag Daryl. One ton probably told me that. And I just was caught up in the moment. I'm like, I mean, shit, I was in my thirties when I was touring. So, and I'm 44 now. So I just didn't realize it. And it all connected when I started doing these reactions and you guys started putting in the comments, Rest in peace to Dimebag Daryl. So I'm still learning. I think he's the homie on the guitar right, that, that, that popped up in the beginning of the video. Uh, not the first person, but he has like this little mustache. But I'm still learning, you guys. But yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. It's it's real. I, I've, shit, I have the credentials on the wall on these laminates of that tour playing the Al. I think it's called the Al Rosa or some shit. Anyways, rest in peace, Dimebag Daryl. Let's freaking go. Cowboys from heaven. dude is crazy yo the different switches and the control in his vocals on that was so insane 
I couldn't imagine seeing him vintage prime performing that live and hitting it just blah, 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 blah. there were some cute girls at the concert too man i'm like hey, what? pantera did it all man they took that hardcore essence and just blah. that is freaking insane okay let me look up this up real quick because i can't be getting this wrong out of respect for the homie um dime bag daryl let's see oh yeah i'm pretty sure that was him the one i, I thought so yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, um, the guitarist with the mustache, I'm pretty sure that was him in this video, right? Um, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it says assassinated in Columbus, Ohio. That's right. Um, let's see. Yeah, so R.I.P. That's crazy. I think he was. Did that just. Oh, hold on. Holy smokes. This is interesting. Daryl Lance Abbott, Dimebag Daryl, I believe, was born in Grand Prairie, Texas on August 20th, 1966. Six, the second son to Carolyn and Jerry Abbott, a country music producer. He had an older brother, Vinnie Paul, born as his parents divorced. I just thought that was cool that he he's a son of a music producer. That's kind of wild. Wild. Holy smoke. See, this stuff, this musician stuff runs deep. It runs deep, man. Anyways. Um, yeah, RIP Dime. My bad. I'm like actually looking up all this stuff about Dime Bag Daryl. I just think it's interesting. Anyways, uh, anyways, you guys, um ah, ah, craziness. Um, you guys let me know. What I got, what I missed. I think, you know, I'm just going to say it, man. Cowboys from H-E double hockey sticks definitely is winning the race for your boy. I think now it goes in order of what I like. Cowboys from H-E double hockey sticks is number one. Walk is number two. Cemetery Gates is number three. And Domination is four. Those are the four songs I've heard from Pantera. You guys got to let me know if I should check out anything else. I'm enjoying this group, man. I'm enjoying it. I can't. I can't lie, man. <laughs> this is coming from a old school hip hop head, an old school and a Christian. Like this is hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> well, anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Fody. Thank you for being some man. Forty years down the road, back again. 40.